gravity thwarting me again. Come on. Oh god, that was violent. Everything's fine. Hello everybody and welcome back to Momba Zoo where it is a new day and we have a letter in the mail waiting for us from the electric company. Greetings, Monsieur Tremblay. We have received a request for connection to our grid power for the home located at 69 Rue Chaux's St. Clindefin Fond. In order to respond to your request, here is some information. Work will begin following receipt of this signed letter. We estimate the duration of the work at five working days. Once the services are installed, you will receive an invoice in the mail twice a month. You must send us your payment in the same envelope as this signed letter. The total cost for installing the services is $28,998. You will then receive bills based on your energy consumption. Cordially, sales teams, Hydro St. Clin. And there goes 29 grand. Oh my God. I just bought a more powerful air compressor earlier. I installed the old one in your garage. Oh, heck yeah. It is bright and early, 7 a.m. on Tuesday morning. We've gotten another syrup payment in, and they are working hard at installing our power, or getting us connected to the power grid. So it shouldn't be long now. The pole is right next door, so we won't have to use this thing very much longer. In the meantime, however, we have a bunch of parts that we need to throw into that bazoo. We've got brakes, we've got suspension, we've got sway bars, we've got all sorts of things. We've got cannabis that we need to harvest. So we may as well get that done and get this replanted before we uh, get started on our suspension swaps. Got 80%, that's, man, that's enough for an entire 10 pack. We'll get this rolled up. There we go. And oh my God, we still have five left. We'll have to see it. Eat that over there. Yeah, I'll make another stack there. Beautiful. Okay, got our seeds. Somewhere, hopefully, they're there. Yeah, and water, whatever needs to be watered. Which, not really much. I ended up transferring the potatoes over to the patch down there because of uh, expanding our grass operation a little bit. I figured having these close to the water was more important. Than having the potatoes because these things like I really don't need any more of them right now so they can just hang out and get rained on every once in a while and that's fine but without any further ado let's go over and eat some poutine drink some maple syrup get ourselves prepared to get our creeper under this car and replace basically all of the suspension parts all the break bits and uh throw in some sway bars and struts let's do it uh well, first things first let's grab our impact and unbolt our wheels which we don't really need to be on the creeper for this but just toss all the rusty bolts on the ground we'll pretty well use uh I think I should have enough white bolts. Oh, <laughs> we've got the compressor going. Nice. Man, it is so much better using air tools over an adjustable wrench. I tell you what. Okay, that is all of the wheels. Eat those off. So much faster. Okay, and won't even bother putting those back on. We'll use these OEM wheels. We may as well, since we have them. Uh, we need to pull off the caliper bolts. Okay, and 
I will we'll probably need to pull some of that off as well, but I don't know what yet, so I'm not going to just start on doing everything. Beautiful. So that's all the wheels, brakes, rotors off. We've got... Oh, we can adjust our toe angle. Interesting. Uh, now we need to pull off suspension because we're throwing that on there. So that we're going to have to open up the hood. Me thinks so I can undo the shock tower there. Just leaving rusty bolts everywhere. Okay, so that's that. Do we have the same thing going on in the back? We do. They're just like hidden. God dang. Yeah. I mean, easier access than in most vehicles, I will say. So. That's nice. Okay, so that's all that, I think. So can I just, like, pop the shocks out now as well? No, oh, do I have to undo more stuff? Hello, bus. Uh, oh, you, I guess, probably. No? Hmm. Hmm. Unless I just have to pull out other stuff to access that, and that, that might be the thing. Do I have to... Is that it? Were those supposed to be attached to the... That was the issue. Oh, okay. I understand now. Okay. Is all four out. Okay. Um, what else? I guess I'm going to get on the creeper at this point and take a look. Uh, what else we have? So we... Okay, so we are going to need to undo that, that, and that. May as well snag the impact while I'm here and just do it. So let's bring that off. And can I get rid of you now? I can! Okay, I think that is everything removed that we need to remove. If I am not mistaken those to the side as well okay we've got bolts and crap everywhere let's start throwing things in i guess uh let's get that rear sway bar <laughs> i was hoping that would just click in from up there we're gonna have to use the creeper oh that did click in from there though so we've got rear a arm wait is there a left and a right no that there. Where's my rear AR mat. There you are. There you are. Okay. Uh, let's put in the front sway bar. Beautiful. No idea what this stuff needs to be adjusted to, so it's just going in at its stock setting, and we'll see. Beautiful. Okay. Now get our LSD. Toss you up in there. And we'll get our you go back up on her. Wait, this is the rear, isn't it? Rear strut. Do I need to have the shocks on first? I might need to have the shocks on first. Well, in that case, let's throw on our adjustable coilovers. Oh! Checklist. What got checked? What? Oh! Oh! Oh, power just got checked. Oh my god. No way. Connect your house to the power grid. Holy cow. So what you're telling me is this generator is off and I have uh sounds like it was working but uh, it didn't actually do anything okay there we go <laughs> I think the game must have just thought it was uh close to start with but okay, I'm 
I am so stoked. We have power now. That is amazing. Well, let's get the rest of the parts in this thing. Get it together and uh, take a ride into town. Why not? Then we can maybe get our uh, electric heater for the syrup. So we don't have to use firewood anymore as well. I think we should have enough money for that. I don't think it was 20,000, so should be able to do that. And okay, so can I put in these now? Yes, yes I can. Okay, there we go. So I need to have the shocks in first. There we go. And the ECU, I'll figure that out after the breaks. I'll get on after right now. I'll get these white bolts down and I'll bolt it up with white stuff so that I know I've like I've done this. That's all of my white bolts. My god. That was incredibly fast. I think I might uh, just go ahead and take a quick rip into town and buy some more bolts. You know, I figured since we were in town grabbing some bolts, I may as well stop in here. Say bonjour to Eric, and um, get that electric auto heater. Yes, indeed. So we will not have to use firewood anymore. I can just have it going on in the background, make, making syrup. I don't have to feed it. It can just do its thing. All right, Rogers. Let's go in, say hello. Let's grab our white bolts that we were using. And... Let's get some black ones as well. I'll do the, uh, I'll do the struts in the rear with black bolts, I guess. You're not gonna see them anyways. Should I pick up anything else while I'm here? I have literally all of the suspension components here in brakes. Oh, I can get a get a deep dish steering wheel for it. Yeah, I'm down for that. I'll see you in the back. Uh, oh, a race exhaust is only three hundred bucks. Yep, let's throw a new exhaust on there. And where's our mufflers at? Oh yeah, what are we gonna put on it? Mm -hmm -hmm. I think to start with, this is going to be our kind of stock-ish looking car. So we're going to go boring with the heart muffler. <laughs> it is going to be beautiful. Oh, and we could use these wheels on it as well. Oh, oh maybe that'll be for the future. We'll throw our sport tires on those and be off to the races, literally. I figured before I'd go right back to the garage and install this stuff, I'd uh, show you that we have 194 trees connected. What? Damn you good. We have changed this up a little bit. I took down a couple of the trees in the tubing to open up this space because this seems to be where I drive across to access the road quite often. So I figured I'd just remove some clutter there because so many more trees are being added to the system. We've got a little grove growing there. We've got a bunch over here that like this line isn't even connected. They're ready to go, but these, oh, well, I was gonna say they're not grown yet, but they are grown now. So I can literally just take some tubing right now, connect those up and we should be at like, I don't even know how many more trees. We're at 194. We'll tube these and we'll see what we're at. Beautiful. That connects the entire rest of the line here. And those are grown as well. My God. So I'll be able to tap about half of this line as well and add even more onto it. My God. I have so many trees on the system. Gonna be insane. 212. <laughs> Wait, what? Fair enough. Wait, what indeed? N oh, nice. We got 
we just turn that on oh yeah look at that temperature rise it, it, it it's just gonna go it is just gonna go and do its thing i don't have to load wood this wood doesn't even need to be here anymore i don't need it i don't even need this map torch anymore technically so i won't be using it to light fires here at least i guess there is a little campsite on the beach that you can light some fires with so maybe i'll take some wood over there and stack it okay let's get i guess let's get it unbolted the exhaust and muffler that is oh i should have bought another magnetic tray for bolts dang it i knew i was forgetting something Uh, that's good nice yeah just pop that right off pop that right off pop that right on pop that right on and there we go beautiful okay i think that is actually everything bolted in except for the uh struts in the front and back Nice, okay, so that's bolted on, that's bolted on. I need to do the steering wheel. Is that a, oh, that's a 12 mil. Interesting, okay. In that case, we'll throw on a, uh, a white 12 mil. Get that steering wheel, we'll toss that one back over there. Throw that one on. We've got our fancy schmancy line to know when we are back to the center. Look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, that is Oh god, brakes. I forgot about the brakes. Okay. That's that. And oh I do have another set of black ones. I forgot about that. Well, those can be on the tires which are gonna go on put the oem ones on with the all season tires instead of what looks like studded winters so we'll get these bolted up okay so that is 32 psi in all four tires toss that under there to scoop up the remaining bolts even though there's a lot more remaining under there. Uh, ECU, where do you go? Are you like under, under here somewhere? Window switch. Oh my God, this thing has power windows. That's amazing. Uh, glove box. Oh, that looks like an ECU to me. Yeah, it is. Toss you over there, and toss you in there with a, we'll use a white bolt since we have one. It only takes one. Beautiful. So now we've got an EC that's tunable. I have no idea how to tune it, but, you know, we have it. So cool. <laughs> oh, the exhaust sounds different. That's for sure. I need headlights. Oh god, I never drive this way, so I don't actually know where I'm going. <laughs> actually, you know what? Oh god, French Canadian slur indeed. <laughs> god dang it. Oh no. Okay, I'll well, we'll turn that off. Okay. Uh, well, let's take a look at our handiwork while we're at it. Uh, this, this, it was a plan all along. I just wanted you guys to see better. Yeah, five brain move. Now, <laughs> you can see all the brand new shiny parts we threw in there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. So it really is pretty much just going to be engine work that's left because uh, we've done everything else and there's a race engine or a performance engine that we can get that we'll toss in eventually uh, how do I uh, 
grab the hoist puller. Uh, I'll pull you this way, I guess. Let's see if we can roll you. My club. Oh, I can't even close it while it's upside down. Gravity thwarting me again. Come in. Oh god, that was violent. Everything's fine. Okay, well, I think that test went pretty dang well. Um, car, car works. Yep. Works. Works. It, it, it sure is a car. Let's uh, back it back in and uh, maybe wait till day to test it out. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, love to see it. Why are the lights still on? Probably because I didn't turn them off. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. There we go. Our Mont Bazoo is... I mean, it's... I was going to say it's looking better, but really, aside from the wheels and tires, it doesn't really look any different. I mean, you can see a little bit of the red caliper through, but... It is all internals at the moment. This thing is going to be an absolute sleeper when... It has all the engine bits in there, and we can throw in a turbo, and oh my god, it'll be ripping. We'll have it making choo-choo noises in no time. It'll be like... <laughs> At least that's what I'm hoping for. May as well get that planted, as well as get everything watered before bed. And that'll pretty much... Yes, 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 I know I'm tired. <laughs> That'll pretty much wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. If you've liked, drop a like, leave a comment, do all the Google algorithm things. And in the next one, we will be getting more upgrades for our Maple Empire. It'll be great. See you then.